Imagine waking up one morning to find your company's critical data locked away by ransomware or your personal email account flooded with suspicious login attempt. It's a scenario no one wants, yet it's becoming all too common in today's interconnected world. Now picture yourself equipped with the right tools, tools that allow you to detect vulnerabilities before attackers do, simulate phishing attempts to train your teams, or analyze networks for hidden threats. Sounds empowering, right? This is where the cyber security tools comes in. So guys, in today's video, we are going to step up into the top 10 free cyber security tools that you should know. But before we move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got Cyber Security Expert Master Program. You can become Cyber Security Expert with this course. In this course, you are going to prepare for CEH, CompTIA and CISSP certifications with the latest curriculum. You will gain access to Certified Ethical Volume 3 with AI Integrated Hands-On Lab and CEH exam vouchers. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So let us discuss our first two. Our first tool is AirCrack NG. AirCrack NG is a comprehensive suite of tools for Wi-Fi security auditing and penetration testing. It enables ethical hackers and security professionals to monitor, test and crack wireless networks to assess vulnerabilities in encryption protocols. Now, let us discuss some of its key features. So, you could see all over here that we are at the official website of AirCrack NG. So, you could see all over here, it focuses on key different areas of Wi-Fi security. The first one is packet capturing. It monitors and captures raw frames from Wi-Fi networks, which enables analysis of network traffic. It is also used as a decryption tool. It includes AirDecap NG, which actually decrypts WEP and WPA encrypted packet. Now, what is WEP and WPA? So WEP stands for Wired Equivalent Privacy and WPA stands for Wi-Fi Protected Access. These are security protocols designed to protect wireless networks. They ensure data transmitted over Wi-Fi is encrypted and secure from unauthorized access. Next one, it helps in injection testing. It has this packet forge ng through which users can create custom packets to test a network's susceptibility to injection attacks. You could also do network scanning. It has AeroDump NG, which identifies available networks, their encryption protocols, and connected devices. And finally, if you want to crack encryption keys, you can use this tool. It is going to recover weak WEP keys and also WPA pre-shared keys using advanced algorithm. Now, in what scenario you could use this? So suppose you are doing penetration testing to test the strength of enterprise or home Wi-Fi networks to identify vulnerabilities. So you could use this tool. Next one, if you are performing any educational demonstration, in that scenario, you could also use it. And mostly, it is used in network security audits. It helps IT teams to ensure Wi-Fi networks are properly secure with modern encryption protocols. Now, let us discuss our next tool, which is Burp Suit. So Burp Suit is a popular tool for testing the security of web application. It allows users to intercept, analyze, and manipulate HTTP traffic to uncover vulnerabilities such as SQL injection and cross-site scripting. So guys, this is the official website of Burp Suit. Now, what are its key features? First of all, you could intercept proxy. So basically with the help of Burp Suit, you could capture HTTPS traffic between browser and the server, which enables real-time inspection and modification. Second, you could do automated crawling. The spider feature maps out all the pages and structures of web app aiding comprehensive testing. Third one, request repeater. This allows testers to resend and tweak HTTP requests to identify weaknesses in application logic. Fourth one, you have session token analysis. It evaluates the randomness and security of session tokens to prevent unauthorized access. So guys, this tool comes in free and paid versions. The community edition provides essential tools, while pro version adds automated scanning and advanced capabilities. Now, in what scenario you could use this tool? Suppose you are doing web application testing. So you could discover security weaknesses such as input validation flaws or session hijacking risk. Next, you could use it for compliance checks, which ensures apps meet security standards. Third one, you could use it for developer debugging. It helps refine web app authentication mechanism and improve session handling. Now, let us discuss about our third tool, which is Defendify. Defendify is an all-in-one cybersecurity platform 
designed for small and medium sized businesses. It provides comprehensive tools for risk assessment, phishing simulations, and employee training, consolidating cybersecurity efforts in a single solution. So, as you can see all over here, I have navigated to official website of Defendify. Now, there are certain key features of Defendify. First of all, risk assessments. It identifies vulnerabilities in all the networks, applications, and practices, providing actionable recommendations. Second, if you want to do phishing simulations, then you could use this tool. It is going to test employee accessibility to phishing with realistic and customizable campaigns. Third one, you could use it for cybersecurity training. It offers engaging modules to educate employees on recognizing threats. Fourth one, it has incident response plan. It provides pre-designed action plans to handle breaches effectively. Fourth one, it has threat alerts. Finally, it is used for threat alerts. It monitors and notifies users of emerging cyber threats in real time. Now, in what scenario you could use this tool? So, you could use it for small businesses security, okay, and employee awareness training, and also if you want to streamline cybersecurity management. So, in these scenarios, you could use this tool. You could go on this tool. So, it says start the tool. Just click on it, and you can explore this tool all over here, what it includes. Now, let us move on to our fourth tool, which is GoFish. GoFish is an open source phishing simulation toolkit that allows organization to assess employee awareness of phishing attacks. It enables users to create and track phishing campaigns in a controlled environment. So you could see all over here, I have navigated to the official website of GoFish. Now, let us discuss about some of the key features of this tool. First of all, customizable campaigns. Users can design phishing emails using realistic templates tailored to their organization. Second, user response tracking. It can track metrics such as email opens, link clicks, and submitted credentials. Third of all, detailed reporting. It provides analytics on campaign outcomes, helping identify training needs. And it is also very easy to use. It offers an intuitive interface for creating and managing campaigns without needing advanced technical skills. And finally, it is open source, which is fully customizable and free to use for organizations of any size. Now, what scenario you could use this tool? So, suppose you are going for employee security awareness. So, in that scenario, you could use this tool. Or if you want to improve security culture, then you could use simulation results to reinforce best practices for email security. In that scenario, this tool works perfect. Now, let us move ahead and discuss about our fifth tool. Our fifth tool is Have I Been Fumed? So it is basically a free web service that allows users to check if their email addresses, usernames, or passwords have been exposed in a known data breaches. It's a simple yet powerful tool for staying informed about compromised accounts. So guys, this is the official website of Have I Been Pwned. Now, let us discuss about some of the key features about this tool. First of all, for credential research, users can input email addresses or usernames to see if they appear in public breach databases. Second of all, for real-time alerts, it offers subscription-based notifications for users to receive update about new breaches. Third, it is used for comprehensive database. It contains billions of leaked credentials from past data breaches. Fourth one, API integration. Organizations can integrate the service to their workflows for automated breach monitoring. Now, basically, you could use this tool for personal security where individuals can monitor their account and take actions if credentials are compromised. Second one for enterprise account management. IT teams can track employees' credentials to prevent unauthorized access. And third one, promoting password hygiene. It helps users adopt stronger password by highlighting the risk of credential use. So what do you do? Just type your email address and just check whether you have been pwned or not. It is a very amazing and free open source tool. Now, let us discuss about our next tool, which is Kali Linux. Kali Linux is a Debian-based Linux distribution designed specifically for security professionals. It provides an extensive collection of tools for penetration testing, digital forensics, and security auditing. Now, this is the official website of Kali Linux. You could download Kali Linux from all over here, and it has certain key features also. First of all, it has 600 plus pre-installed tools, which includes Nmap, Metasploit, Wireshark for tasks like network scanning, vulnerability exploitation, and packet analysis. Second of all, for customizable environment. It is fully configurable to meet specific penetration testing needs. Third of all, for live boot compatibility. 
It can run directly from a USB drive, leaving no trace for the host system. Fourth, it has extensive community support. It offers extensive documentation and resources for security professionals. Now, you could use this tool in certain scenarios. First of all, if you are trying to do penetration testing, you can simulate attacks on networks and systems to uncover vulnerabilities. If you are going to do digital forensics, then this tool works perfectly. You could investigate cyber incidents by analyzing system logs and data. And for education and training purposes, this tool can also be used. Now, let us discuss about our next tool, which is Nmap. Nmap is a powerful open source tool used for network discovery and vulnerability scanning. It helps administrators identify devices, open ports, and running services on a network. So guys, this is the official website of Nmap. You could download Nmap from here. Now, the key features of this tool are as follows. First of all, it is used for device discovery. It can detect all devices connected to a network. Secondly, open port identification. It can identify open and vulnerable ports. Third one, if you're trying to do operating system fingerprinting, it can determine the operating system and software versions of the devices. Fourth, you could go for scriptable scans. It can automate scans using scripts for complex network environments. Now, you could use this tool in certain scenarios. First of all, for network inventory, you could map all devices and services in a network. If you're going for security audits, this tool can be amazing. It can identify and close open ports to minimize attack surfaces. Third, on compliance testing. It ensures network configurations adhere to security standards. Now, let us discuss about our next tool, which is Nikto. Nikto is an open source web server scanner, which can identify vulnerabilities, outdated software, and misconfigurations in web servers and applications. So guys, you could see all over here that this is the official website of Nikto. This tool could be used for vulnerability scanning, SSL proxy support, intrusion detection system, and also it has some customizable option. It allows users to tailor scans for specific server configuration. Suppose you want to do web server audits. So it could identify vulnerabilities in servers and applications. If you are doing legacy system assessments, then this tool can work amazing. It could test older systems for outdated software. And also, if you are doing pre-deployment testing, you could ensure servers are secure before going live. Then you could use this tool. Next tool we have is Metasploit. Metasploit is a pen testing framework that enables users to find, test, and exploit vulnerabilities in systems and networks. It's a versatile tool used by ethical hackers and security professionals. So guys, this is the official website of Metasploit. So guys, if you're looking to exploit database, then you could use this tool. It has over 1500 preloaded exploits for testing vulnerabilities. Second, if you are doing payload generation, it provides customizable payloads for post exploitation activities. It could also be integrated with other tools. It works seamlessly with tools like Nmap for comprehensive testing. It has community and pro versions. The free framework edition is suitable for beginners, while pro edition offers some advanced features. If we talk about use cases, then it could be used in vulnerability testing. If you are doing red team exercises, then this tool could be amazing. You could conduct simulated attacks to improve organizational defenses. Third of all, for security research, you could develop and test new exploits in a controlled environment. Now, our final tool is Open Vulnerability Assessment Scanner or OpenVAS. OpenVAS is a vulnerability scanner that comprehensively tests networks, systems, and applications for security flaws. So guys, this is the official website of OpenVAS. The key features of these tools are as follows. If you are looking for daily update, okay, then you could use this tool. You would receive updated vulnerability feeds for detecting new threats. If you're looking for customizable scans, then you could use this tool. You could configure scans to meet specific organizational needs. Third of all, for authenticated testing, you could scan systems with user credentials for deeper insights. Fourth, for detailed reporting. It could generate reports for compliance and mitigation planning. So guys, you could use this tool in certain scenarios like for enterprise security audits where you want to test scale networks for vulnerabilities. Second of all, for compliance testing. If you want to ensure that system meets regulatory standards. Third, if you're looking for continuous monitoring, you could automate periodic scans to maintain secure environments. So guys, this was the top 10 free cybersecurity tools that you should know. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Staying.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.